Jeremiah 25 and 13. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book, which Jeremiah had prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. And I will recompense them according to their deeds, according to the work of their own hands. Okay? So don't let nobody fool you. God judges you off your works. All right? Verse 15. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel unto me, Take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send you to drink it. Okay? So the Lord's getting ready to judge this whole earth. And they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then I took the cup of the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom the Lord has sent me. Okay? So the Lord's going to make all the nations drink of the earth. I'm going to skip down. Okay, I'm going to skip down to verse 30. Therefore prophesy against them all these words and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as that they tread of the grave, all the inhabitants of the earth. A nor shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with the nation. He will flee with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. All right? So God's going to plead with all flesh, man. Verse 32. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. A great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Okay? Verse 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. It shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. It shall be dung upon the ground. Dung is like poop, man. Okay, so that's how the Lord said the bodies are going to be upon the earth. All right? And that's the judgment that the Most High God is about to bring upon this earth. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 Behold the days come, saith the Lord God That I will send a famine in the land Not a famine by bread Nor a thirst for water But they hear the words of the Lord Verse 12 And they shall wander from sea to sea And from the north even to the east They shall run to and fro To seek the word of the Lord And they shall not find it Okay So the Lord's going to send a famine of the word. So if you don't want to listen now, it's going to be too late when the prophets aren't out here to warn the people. Okay?